Hey, Ruka. I've been thinking about going a new move. Do you want to practice with me? Cool, what kind of move is it? Here, let me show you. Hermana. Sure, fire, kill, side split, and laughter. <laughs> Hermana, that tickles. Whoa, are you alright, Ruka? Pongway? <laughs> Stopper? Hermana, can you cut that out? Ruka's already dying from laughter. How was that, Ruka? Was it very effective? It was, but I don't think it'd be effective against monsters. I knew it, thanks for the feedback. Well, if you think of something else, why don't you let me know? Words. Our bonds, they strengthen. One more? Alright, we're done. Ba -ba I'm assuming that house is the elder, the one in the center of the map. This town is only so big. Actually, no, I think we went there. I think actually this way might be to the elder's house. I can see. I can see this being the way. Not so bad. I don't think we should go in there now. Never mind. What the heck is this elder's house? Bum, 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 bum. What does G mean again? Oh, it's the grade shop. We have 300 grade. Vanilla ice cream. Yo, 15 TP is so good. All of these because like they're not too much grade french toast Just give me all the dishes plus i wouldn't think of ng plus in this game anytime soon given i like it enough it's the elder it's not just Ashahara that's getting worse is it on the continent the war is still going on i hear that more and more land is being destroyed because of it we may not have many resources, but we still got fish and animals to eat. We'll have to find a new place to live, but it's better than war. I wonder if this town will sink, just like my old house. I don't want that to happen. Where's the elder at? You know, with all the storms, it's so bad that the people have to keep moving their houses inland, but then the sea level rises. There was a talk of building a town more inland, but it seems more people are just leaving the island and emigrating elsewhere. So tired of all this, maybe we should just emigrate too. Where the heck is the elder? You're the elder. You're the, oh, this might be a side quest actually. You're the boy that was with Chitose earlier. You're gonna see familiar where you're from. I'm from Rangdom. A city boy I see, lucky for her. So what do you think about her? She's a nice kid, isn't she? What do I? Why are you getting embarrassed all of a sudden? The old lady saw everything, especially that nice atmosphere you both have. Where? Ah, those must be the birds. They're a bit hard to see, but they made a nest under the roof. You see, these birds are extremely fond of Chitose. Of Chitose. Apparently, these young ones fell from their nest back when I was out in town. And Chitose, the good child, found them and returned them back to their nest. Ever since that, it seemed like they've taken a liking to Chitose. They would always chirp so sound loudly whenever she passes. They must be very fond of her, then. Speaking of, Chitose dropped by briefly earlier, too, although she had to leave after a few minutes. I wish she'd drop by one more time before these chicks started fledging. Oh, sorry. It seemed like I've rambled for quite a while now. Please take care of her. Okay. They didn't even give me, like, a title or anything. Yeah, I, kn I know about the weak status element. I'm just looking for the Elder. Is he in the inn? Maybe you're the elder, you're old. What kind of elder is just- doesn't even have his own house? Say, Gramps, you the village elder? Why, yes I am. How strange it is for me to be greeted by foreigners. Hey, Grandpa, can we enter the tomb? Oh, then why don't you jump into the sea first? Calm down, Ruka. If you speak that way, you might cause a misunderstanding. 
Apologies, we would like to enter Ashihara's tomb. I was wondering if you would be so kind as to give us permission. The tombs, I suppose there's no harm in that. The burial treasures have already been set aside to offset national spending. We have nothing left worth stealing. We would like to inspect your country's tomb as part of a historical dissertation. As you see, the one who was so eager to get into the tomb is our leader, right Ruka? Yeah, we would like your authorization for inspection. I see, if that's the case. Oh, they're, they're here again! So it's that time again. This has been happening lately during the high tide. This and that. What exactly are you talking about, Gramps? Lately, when the high tide comes, beasts tend to come out of their habitats and terrorize the town. Perhaps you guys might be able to do something about it. How about it? I'll give you authorization as payment for subjugating those beasts. Ah, so it's a give and take, huh? Not a bad deal. What do you guys think? Indeed, we'll get to save people along the way, too. Then I'll leave this in your care. You know those beasts always appear at the entrance. However, they always appear in waves, so it might be harder for you to handle. Worry not, Gramps. It's smooth sailing from here. To say something like that to a seafarer, why aren't you cocky? They appear at the town's entrance, right? Let's get it. That's sad, why is this town being attacked by monsters? It's still troublesome for those who live in it. You're right, no way any ordinary person could travel out of town because of this. It's a sad thought, but I wonder if this has something to do with the fracture. It might be an act of retaliation from Taro for being abandoned and losing Cielo's blessing. Wasn't the fracture the reason why Terrans forgot about their fate? Right, wasn't Cielo destroyed? It's not retaliation or negligence, right? Remembering such beliefs is the basis of the church's teachings. So does that mean that the fracture has nothing to do with the beast appearing? No, I believe it has something to do with the imbalance between Cielo and Taro caused by the Cero Cielo's disappearance. In any case, all we have to do is kick their asses, right? Yes, it's for survival that we must chase them away after all. Come on, let's move. We have to do it to save others, right? Everyone, look! Aren't those the beasts that the Elder was talking about? They're coming right at us. Hell yeah, I'm all fired up now. Everyone be careful. Alright, Ricardo, let's see how your gameplay works. Can I fight up close? Okay, Ricardo doesn't have a close range move, but he does have Sonic Spear for when enemies, like, hone in. Oh, and it pushes him, like, back a little bit. That's really neat. So if, like, we use Sonic Spear, they'll put this back in, like, gun range. That was a breeze. That pride will lead you to your downfall. Don't let your guard down even if your enemy is a beast. I know that. Look, here's the next wave. Good stand blast. Okay, Flare Bond's pretty sick. I mean, these are most of the arts we saw him use in the boss fight. Yakasoba. I should also look at setting that ice cream. Maya, I'm more of an indoor person. Hunting is not my forte. Sorry if you ended up being forced to do this, Kongwei. Ah, uh, no. You don't need to worry about it, Ruka. I was merely grumbling to myself. Now let's hang on a bit more. Why is Kongwei so cool? Behold, endless rocks await you. Um, no, lock onto that one. I, I need to. I don't want to be here anymore. I did not get the guard thing. Counter. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, mom. <laughs> that laser beam move is so cool. It's so good. They're not coming at us anymore. Reckon that's all of them. I cannot help but feel sorry. If this land was not sinking, then we would not have to exterminate them, and they would be able to coexist with us. Chitose said it would begin when Cielo collapsed. That's when the world began to fall into decline. Ah, so Chitose said so, huh? I never said it was wrong to exterminate them, though. Screw you, that wasn't what I meant. Suit yourself. Man, just drop it already. How about we head back? Leave that report to the old fella. Sure, let's go. How many times can Elia call Ruka a dummy before it starts to get old? 
And it is quite troublesome that you keep jumping in front of danger just to save someone. Well, that may be true. I don't believe it is acceptable to abstain from taking action just because you're protecting me. However, this situation is quite unavoidable, is it not? I still heavily prefer that you leave the extermination request for me to handle. Oh my, is protecting me that heavy of a responsibility for you? Leave it to us. As Ricardo said, just leave it to us. After all, he only wants you to be safe. But that's also why I'm fighting with you. I do not want anyone to get hurt. That's a bit unfair. But to be honest, if you're not with us, we would have gotten into way, way more trouble. That's true. I will not allow myself to get left behind after all. That's why I reject your proposal. Understood, I'll do as you wish. And I'm counting on you to have my back. Mr. Elder, we took out the beast for you. Oh, did you really exterminate them? It seems that my eyesight has yet to fail me once again. So about the authorization to inspect the tomb. You sure are passionate about this? Even if you won't find anything inside. Uh, right. Studying the tomb is his... I mean, Ruka's hobby. Hey, wait, why me? No, I mean, uh... The tomb would give me a lot of insight into the history of the country, so please. Goodness me, what a wonderful hobby. You are quite cultured for one so young. Sure, I give you my approval. Just tell the gravekeepers and they'll let you in. They'll just, like, believe me? If I just tell them the elder said yes, they'll just believe me? And, like, how do they keep... How do they keep, like, random people from going inside? You must be so happy, right, Ruka? Uh, yeah. I really don't want to go into a tomb, though. Did you say something? Nothing. Let's go to the tomb, then. A dying pastime. A view of wasabi. Wabi sabi. I don't know what that means. I want to go into the tomb. <laughs> It must be quite sad for Chitose to gradually see your beautiful hometown slowly sink into the sea. Oh, he's yakking about Chitose again. You never shut up, do you? I never shut up. It's not like I'm always talking about her. You just said her name twice. Hey, if you say it one more time, I'll give you an extravagant present. I'll whisper words about the misfortune that will occur on your birthday see that you won't forget. So you're gonna harass me? Aren't you being a little oversensitive about Miss Chito- Chito? About Miss Cheeto Miranda? Pardon me, but did you just say that I'm oversensitive about this Miss Cheeto Miranda person? Oh, forget it. Blah. Why even get offended? Like, yuck. Oh, my word. No matter how you look at it, Ely is definitely angry. Oh, dear. It really does seem that way, does it not? You think it's fine for us to leave them be for the time being? You mean it would be bad if we continued interacting with them? I reckon it'd be way more interesting. You sure are optimistic, despite your stature. Oh, Angie Ricardo. Angie, you're perhaps training with your dagger. Yeah, the monsters that we face have grown stronger, so I figured I might as well train so I can at least protect myself. An admirable attitude, however, that alone is not enough. So you do understand. I'm not at all versed in the ways of melee combat. Physical training comes first, practicing your technique comes after. Aw, do I have to do physical training? That's one of my least favorite words in the dictionary. You like sweet things? Yes, sir, sweet is one of my most favorite words in the dictionary. From now on, you'll have to try. No, work hard and abstaining from eating sweet foods. It'll help you shape up. And now physical training became my most hated word. <laughs> oh, wait, there was a... Uh, it was Kongwei. Yeah, Kongwei and Hermana. Wait. Is there, like, an affinity measure system? Okay, there is. It doesn't say what the max is, though. So you're about to get one with her mana. You're about to get one with, um... With... What's-his-face? Uh, Spada. I do like that they have these little text bubbles. They're pretty suspicious. That's what Spada thinks of Conway. What are you reading, old man Conway? Can I see? Nothing. It's not something you can understand. Oh, I see. You cannot understand it correctly, or correct words. No, I have no idea what it says. I figured as much. It's because this book is written in my country's language. I thought Hermana couldn't read. Or was that an act? Ah, I figured should mess with your cause, see, because you look so serious while reading it. Since I never went to school and all, I can't read here. Okay, yeah, you can't read. You were serious. I see. Then you should ask Ruka to teach you. Being able to read will broaden your horizons. What's wonderful about reading is that you can gain knowledge and experiences from books you read. You shall also be able to learn about far-off lands from reading books. 
Oh, that's pretty interesting. I should go off and study. I want to add the vanilla ice cream to one of the things. Does anyone favor that? Okay, no one favors the ice cream. We could probably take our chocolate bananas, though, because it's better than chocolate bananas in every way. I should have a stir fry and Ruka could be good. Because that's one of his favorable dishes. I think Art Attack Up would be good. I'm going to put this on Ange. Wait, this French Toast do? Oh, it's HP and TP. This is really good, then. I think I'm going to take out Seafood Spaghetti. Although, I want the Art Attack Up. Maybe I don't, actually. Just give me French Toast and have Hermana cook it. So I probably should have rested in, in, in hindsight, but I'm also like halfway to the tomb and I don't feel like going back. So we're just gonna do this. So we're gonna hit up the save. Sonic Spear, do not use it when you're far away, Nova. It's not very good. Their mom also has a pretty slow startup. Oh, your free run attack is like a close range move? I guess because you're moving anyway. Die? Please die? Sir? Give me this French toast. Okay, let's place Conway instead for now. Actually, no, we can try. I also want to try playing it. We technically have played a Spada in that one fight, and we played as Hermana. Probably just give me Ruka for a bit. Maybe at the end of stream we'll try someone, like Ange or something. has told us of your deeds, everyone can pass now, thou may enter. Since this country's king has given you explicit permission, we no longer have any reason to forbid you entry. Please enter as you wish. Thank you. Current king? So that elder was his country's king. Sweet Taro, this place is big. It sure doesn't look like your ordinary tomb. Why is it so big? Well, it is a king's tomb. Correct. Influential people often demonstrate their power by building huge monuments like these. Although I believe this place was constructed to serve as a temple as well. If that's the case, then there might also be an altar within here, which means another memory spring. I think the possibility of that is quite high. The altar where they hold CLM rituals should be somewhere in here. Should there be a memory spring, it would be placed near it. No, don't feel like it kind of stuffy all of a sudden. Well, we have been going down these stairs for quite a while. I believe we're as below sea level by now. Hearing that's kind of overwhelmingly depressing. Ooh, hello. Another rock we probably have to wait for post-game or something, or later in the game. King of common people. So it seems the town elder back there was the king of this country. That's strange. I thought a king's supposed to be somebody who sits on a chair in a castle and orders people around. A Shahara as it is now is in imminent danger of sinking. I assume he's there so he can easily be called when in need. He did not appear to be preoccupied, now did he? Right, he did seem to be relaxing back there. Was that the case? I think we just happened to catch him during his spare time. Kings are busy after all. That might be the case, but why are you making an excuse for a fellow like him, Ruka? Maybe it's because Ruka enjoys the same hobby as he does. No, of course not. That's just a normal conclusion. 
Now don't be so flustered, you gotta learn to take a joke from Cecilia here. But you know, I'm sh I sure want to be a royal someday. And how are you planning on doing that, Hermana? Duh, I'ma just make one fall in love with me. Ah, of course. Oh, uh -huh, so you're planning on marrying that old man. I won't approve of it if you're planning on marrying just because of that. No, no, I'm planning on having Sis Elia marry him. Oh. And when she does, I'm gonna sneak into her family and call myself her younger sister. Honestly, I'm down with this plan. I don't mind being your sister, but no way am I marrying some old geezer. Maybe he has a hot grandson I can, get, can marry. That's a pretty grandiose plan you've got there. Make sure to talk about it more thoroughly. I want to see this new art I got. I was not airborne? Oh, you know uh, what's it called? Crescent Gale would get me, or whatever the move is called. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that's pretty sick, actually. Do we do that for a combo? Which is pretty good. Also, I think I have your weakness, whatever it is, because I see the red numbering. Sir, please die. I got five experience or five hundred experience. One point five grade. 